So I started making this video because on one of the Facebook gardening groups I'm in, somebody asked about how do you control kill airwigs. Nobody likes airwigs. I said tuna fish. I always use the tuna fish trap. And in this video, the results are shocking. And what we found in this video, we're testing four different safe products because we have dogs. Which one of these products work the best? And what we found very surprising. All right, let's start the video. Oh yeah, do you like airwigs? No. They pinch and they hurt. <laughs> I think you, you, you told me you've been pinched by one before. Yes. So we do a lot of reviews on Steve's Real World here. Check our channel. We have over a thousand videos. Today we're going to see what is the best air wig trap. And let me show you what we're going to use to make these. A pure vegetable oil. Olive oil. Sardines in oil. Tuna fish in oil. Well, you know air wigs can climb up walls. But I want to use styrofoam bowls because they can climb in a styrofoam bowl for a lot easier than a plastic bowl. Uh, let's see, do I need like four of these? Problem with olive oil, it's expensive. You can mix a little soy sauce in there. We're not going to use any soy sauce in this video. You don't need to measure this out. Just put enough in there just to... I was saying, we have dogs. We have Cavaliers. There's, there's Buddy. He's in all of our videos. We have two Huskies. So we have four dogs. We don't want to use any poison. I think the biggest problem with this experiment is where I want to put this. The dogs are probably going to try to eat whatever I put in here. So I want to have to put them maybe in the front of the house instead of the back of the house. Vegetable oil. I wonder if that will work. You can put a little piece of um, dog food in there. You can put a little bit of tuna fish in there. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's going to work for sure. Get all that juice out of there. And we're going to put a sardine in there, too. Do I got two of these? I think I should put a trap in the bag, too, with the strawberries. I'm telling you what, that tuna fish with oil is super messy. Just going to let it drain out here. Oh, man. Dogs are smelling that. i got to figure out where to put these so the dogs don't eat everything. They're very licking their chops. They smell it. They're all excited. Well, I'll put them outside here where there's some debris. You know, air, air wigs like, they're like a cleanup crew. They like dead leaves and grass and we got this old dying lavender bush. There's some stray cats around here and they might have a field day with this. I put some in the back by my strawberry bush. It's like 100 degrees outside. I put uh, two of them out by our strawberry patch. The next day. Here we are the next morning. Yeah, vegetable oil. We had an incident with that, didn't we, buddy? Uh, one of the dogs got into the vegetable oil. It looks like we got a bunch of ants. And we got two air wigs here. And here we're at the strawberry patch. We have it covered because of birds and squirrels. We're gonna flip our cage back. Isn't that at least a couple in there? Oh my God. So we got two in the oil. And oh my God, sardines. Man, look how many is in here. A lot. Too many to count. Wow. I'd say at least 15. I think we have a winner. The tuna fish, I'm going to move up here. I'm going to move the tuna fish over here and see if I can catch up with this. It's all about location. So I put the tuna fish here. Sardines, the winner. We're going to go to the front of the house. I'm going to put this in the, um, over here in the um, strawberry patch. Here's some getting ready to be picked. The dogs are always curious. All right, Miko. Miko. Here we're at the side of the house, and there's the tuna fish. We've got a lot of, looks like a lot of ants, and one, two, three, four, five, uh, five or six. I didn't even know we had earwigs over here. Here's an olive oil. I didn't know we had so many ants. So, if you're looking for a, a natural ant trap, olive oil works pretty good for that. We also have a couple here with our sardines, and the uh, morning sprinklers uh, put a bunch of water in here. But we know oil will float in water, so there's a, there's a fly in here. It's a fly and a couple airwigs. Vegetable oil, again, only got ants, but it's a lot of them. All right, Leanne has the results. It's, it's been uh, over it's been 24 hours. This is vegetable oil. This is olive oil, tuna fish and sardine. How's it look like we did? They really love those sardines. All right. And we got a few, some, like these look like ants. Got a lot of ants. Too. 
here's the surprising results. So for the, um, which one has the most air wigs? I would say sardines. Here we go, sardines. This is back by the strawberry patch. That is the best, right now, the best for air wigs. Sardines in the front house caught a little bit. Tuna fish in the back caught some, some ants and some air wigs. And also up here, this one has a couple Tuna air wigs. Got a couple air wigs. And, and, a, and a wasp. It's got a wasp in there too, Leon. Oh my. And then here's interesting. The olive oil in the front of the house only caught ants. Olive oil in the back of the house caught ants. And a number of air wigs right there. And here's vegetable oil. Caught a couple air wigs, a couple ants. So uh, there is a clear winner. You know, if you're going for a non-chemical way to kill ants, who has the most ants? This one in the back. Yeah, that's the olive oil. Caught yeah. the most ants. The cooking oil over here did pretty good for ants too. This one has a lot of ants. Yeah, and we weren't even going to make an ants. This video wasn't even about ants. It was about earwigs. It was about earwigs. So, Leanne, what is the best non chemical airwig control? The one with the sardines. The sardines. I mean, that kind of smells. I mean, we have four dogs. We, we got to be careful what we use outside. It was our four dogs and a, one of them's a little puppy. We got to be real careful what we use outside. So, wow. Did those results surprise you as much as us? I've never used sardines in the gardens before. Post below if you know something that works better than sardines. I'd be surprised. I'd want to test it. Post your comments below if you made it this far to the video. Thank you. Nobody watches YouTube videos to the end anymore, do they? I don't know, but thank you. I appreciate you. Comment below.